Graniola. Hi, I love to travel, and before I visit a new country, I always like to find some of their folk tales. Folk tales are simple stories that have been told and retold, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. They unify people. Often when you listen to a folk tale, you'll know where it comes from. At the end of this story, I'll tell you what part of the world it started in. This story is called The Golden Cup. There was once a young prince who lived in a magnificent palace on a very large farm in Russia. On one of his birthdays, it could have been the 18th or it may have been the 19th, he went to Moscow to visit his grandmother who gave him a beautiful golden drinking cup. On his horseback ride back to his home, the cup fell out of his pack and was lost. When he discovered that it was missing, he sent word out through the land that he would give a reward to the person who found and returned his cup. It may have been a few days, or it could have been several weeks. A certain foot soldier was out marching with his troop when he saw something gleaming in a wheat field and picked it up. Seeing that it was a golden cup covered in gems, it occurred to him that it was the birthday gift that the prince had lost. As he marched along, he thought to himself, if I showed this to the sergeant, the sergeant would want to have part of the reward, and he might mention it to the commander, who would also demand a share. He reasoned, I've passed many times across these fields surrounding the magnificent palace where the prince lives, so I could easily take the cup back myself without telling anyone. The very next day, the soldier walked up to the magnificent manse. When he arrived, a guard stopped him before he could enter the palace and asked him what business he had there. The soldier answered that he had found the prince's cup and that he had come to return it. The guard then said that he would allow the soldier to enter the palace and return the cup only if the soldier were to give him half of the reward that was promised by the prince. The soldier thought for a moment and then answered that he would agree on the condition that the guard wrote down on a piece of paper that half of the reward was for the soldier and half was for the guard. When the note had been written, the soldier put it into his pocket and passed into the magnificent mansion. The young prince was delighted to see his golden cup. Thank you, good soldier. As a reward, I would like to give you 2,000 rubles. Oh no, my generous prince. As a soldier in your service, I could not accept 2,000 rubles. My reward shall be 200 lashes. What a silly man this is, thought the young prince. But he nonetheless asked a servant to come back with a cane with which to beat the man who was returning his cup. As the soldier began to unbutton his tunic to ready himself for the caning, the note fell out onto the floor. What is that paper that's fallen out onto the floor? asked the prince. The soldier answered saying that it was a written contract stating that half of the reward must go to the guard that led him into the palace. The prince laughed loudly and called for the guard to enter the room. When he arrived, the prince ordered the servant with the cane to give him a hundred lashes. After the first ninety were counted out, the soldier said, to the prince, because this man was so greedy, I'll let him have the second half of the reward. At this, the king laughed even more loudly.
And as they watched together, the disgraced guard was beaten 200 times in total. After the guard had hobbled out of the palace, the prince turned to the soldier. You, my good soldier, shall be rewarded with not 2,000 rubles, but with 3,000 rubles. I'm very happy to give you the extra reward because you have not only found my cup, but have given a very helpful lesson to my guard. This is a tale that is told in Russia.